Hey everyone, Dave here. I welcome to Aria Man Lives Overview. I'm still like trying to get used to having no glasses. It is so weird how your life can change from just that. Especially that I had a tick to touch them every few seconds for no reason. So it seems like I'm saving few minutes from every day now. <laughs> so Aria Man Lives is how I understood it. An interaction based adventure game where you use your actual voice to progress throughout the game. Talking with various characters and figuring out what's going on. The concept as it stands is pretty interesting. The only kind of voice recognition properly used in VR I've experienced was in Worlds of the Wizards and it also wasn't part of the main content like it was added later on in the update. We don't really get much info besides we're gonna have to listen and help people that call to the radio station. It also appears that the day kind of repeats itself and the dialogue changes like there seemed to be a lot of going on. It might be similar to I expect you today experience which is basically searching for clues and have like an escape room scenario. Hard to tell if it's gonna be something for me. Hopefully I'm gonna find myself in the game and make sense of whatever the developer Thought of. Let's go to the gameplay. Welcome. Our new shipment of comics hasn't come in yet, so we're a little light today. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. What's going on? Why we have monster hands? Utopi Tech is buying up everything. Pinata Pete's used to be an offbeat little staple of our community. Now it's all monkey gloves and eagle eyes. What a gimmick. No offense. Your Utopi Tech enhancements are real cutting edge. And my biggest complaint is that Utopi Tech is building a mindless consumer base. Just grab one of those bobblehead raptors. They're so far though. <laughs> Do I have to actually stand up? I don't know if I have space. Hey, don't look at me for help. You're the one wearing the monkey gloves. They're equipped with laser grab, you know. Just point at the raptor by closing your lower three fingers around the grip, and when the laser's targeting the raptor you want, pull your pointer finger down on the trigger to pick it up. Cheap, mindless junk. But I can't keep enough of them in stock. People are lining up for them. You may have noticed my service bell. With your Utopitech Eagle Eye enhancements, you should see a little asterisk floating near the bell. If you use the laser to grab the asterisk, you'll see more information, like a footnote to the world. I don't go in for most enhancements, but I really dig the footnotes. I add them to everything. They're never about anything important, so don't get too hung up on them. Once you've read the footnote, it goes away. In fact, I just added a footnote above the door you came in. Turn around and check it out. Now, I suspect you came in here looking for a great adventure. I love a comic book world. You have to slow down and really imagine the action to get the most out of it. Well, that works, I guess. Do you need help picking up the comic book? Use your laser pointer to pick it up. I'm just thinking if those are like different storylines or something. Just close your bottom three fingers around the grip. Point the laser at the comic book. Late night in the town that goes to bed early. Wait, what the hell? Oh, okay. Late night in a town that goes to bed early. One DJ sits alone in a seaside radio station. 30 seconds until you're on air, reading your live lead. Well, practically alone. That was the producer. It's hard to ignore that guy. Can I change like the height and stuff? There are no menu, okay. Um. The DJ's heart began to race because in just 17 seconds they'd be on air. Oh shit. 13 seconds now. 11. Play records, play commercials, record you. Oh my. 7. 4. Hey there, Night Owls, this is Taylor, serving you a healthy portion of the best local music with a dash of the rest. That'll do. I've heard worse. The show's off and running now. Okay. Uh <laughs> oh, we're Oregon, my favorite state in the States. Hey, I was so transfixed by your performance, I missed the last call that came in. It went to the answering machine. Can you check it? Hey, 
Hey, uh, Taylor. You don't know me, but I, I think you're supposed to help me. Uh, I know that sounds weird, but all week I've been having these, uh, uh, these premonitions, I guess. Uh, and I was trying to ignore them, but what if they're important? <laughs> you know, so I thought, okay, if I need to act on these clues I've been getting, then I need a sign to confirm it. And then your show came on and you said, this is Taylor. And my middle name is Taylor. So I think you're my guy. I'm going to keep listening to you for more clues, so you just you keep doing your thing. That guy reminds me of some of the crazy people I met at AA. This town attracts nuts like a cashew convention. I'm not sure what's going on. We have to play records. Is that how it works? Oh no. <laughs> We can go there? Oh, but there's no locomotion, okay. Play commercials. Oh my god, Pentium. Yeah, sometimes the radio tower integration on that computer picks up stray signal bands. Getting cross from some tow truck driver's GPS. A little eerie that the GPS is always listening, if you ask me. Wait a minute. So, no, it, it doesn't really matter to me, but it matters to what? you. And, and Wait. you matter to me. Don't, don't go. Uh, you don't like me. Oh, shoot. It looks like I don't have any more commercials queued up. I tried it four times. Don't shout we're at all, me. We're so complete. Until you get that new commercial recorded, I don't have anything for you to play. Uh, Come on down to the job. grand reopening of Swore Week. Today we're kicking off opening weekend by having a Swore building competition. Whoever can build the most Swore What's going on? Power this evening will win a free You Want Some More, Some More Supplies for Life. Sign up at our You Want Some More, Some More stand center of the competition. Plus, all weekend long, we're giving away a coon skin hat with every purchase of some more supplies. Because we love raccoons just as much as anyone else. This summer, why settle for less when you could have some more? Okay. Oh, crap. What's up? We're required to run an emergency broadcasting test today to keep our license. Only, we don't have all that newfangled, fancy, schmancy equipment you had at the station you came from. So, I need you to record the message yourself. Just turn to the white script, hit the record button when you're ready, and read it. Super simple. Even you can't screw it up. What's the script? This? Oh, like the emergency one, okay. This this is a test of the emergent. Hey, wait, I just thought of something hilarious. Maybe try to do it kind of robot-y sounding, you know, like mechanical machine voice. I am a robot talking like a human. No. <laughs> oh, and um, where it says beeps, just read those two. Our sound effects borders on the fritz, so really put some oomph into it, you know, like beep, beep. <laughs> There's so much going on. Sorry, just one more thing. Don't feel tied to the beeps. Put your own spin on it, like, like, wah, 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 oh, my. or, oh, God, oh, God, or, neither, neither, whatever you're feeling. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a test. That was inspiring. Don't you go leaving me to take a run at an acting career now. Are we done? Damn it. <laughs> Just then, without rhyme or reason, the DJ could not resist the urge to put the raptor's little left. Bon voyage, weirdo. I can't believe he thinks you're leading him. Left the DJ unexpectedly felt a strong urge to clap their hands. Maybe it's not that weird. As if everything in their life was carefully orchestrated by some invisible laser pointer in the sky. 
I'm not angry. I just I wonder if they're really convinced or if believing in God is just more comfortable for them psychologically. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Play a new segment. Tensions are rising here at S'more Beach, where a riot is on the verge of breaking out. Local businesses are protesting the city selling the gaming rights of the beach to a multinational conglomerate of Tokotech. Owner of Who Wants More? You could ask listeners to call in with the most interesting thing they've ever found. I'll have the clock count you in and tell them the best call this hour went to all day passes to Pinata Pete's. Hello, hello. We've got some calls coming in. I'll patch them through to your phone. Most of the time they want to talk, but always hang up before you give your thoughts so they can't argue back. You're on the line. Well, I'm a beach comer. I have a metal detector. Um, I go search for treasure. Is she eating something? <laughs> One morning, I found a case with a clue on it. It said something like, finding you is like finding a needle in a haystack. So, I mean, I figured it out. I'm real good at puzzles and stuff. I went to Haystack Rock, and there were all these candles, and flowers, and a shovel with a note. And the note said, say yes. So I dug there, and I found a jewelry box. Oh. The ring inside was the most expensive thing I've ever found at the beach. I sold it, and I bought a nice boat. People are so stupid. <laughs> We're actually calling from the boat right now. If you don't believe me, watch the sky over Haystack Rock. Did you see that? It's because I'm on a boat. Can you believe her? Oh. I mean, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Raccoons are being tortured. I can hear them out there every night by the tech building near Highway 7. And they cry, their little raccoon cries, and you can hear them behind the dumpster, and they're just bawling and crying and screaming, and you can hear it. Sorry, I tried to pre-screen the calls. She told me a story about finding herself. I tried to hang up on her, but she slipped through. I I think I'm down. Like I don't know what's going on. Things are happening, but I, I I don't know how I feel about it. It is this puzzle gameplay to just figure out what's going on and press some buttons, follow the instructions. But it feels so chaotic, but like in a bad way. I'm just not sure what's the point of the game. It says five percent cover the completion, so maybe by just following the instructions and stuff, you progress. But it doesn't feel like a progress. For some reason, it's just too much everything at once. I I just don't get it. 